Ready? Okay, so who are you and what the hell are you doing here? Well, my name is Piers and I am the newest member of the Traction team. Uh, and hopefully this video is a way of me introducing myself to all of you. Let's start with the basics. Where are you from? Uh, I am from the UK, born and raised here, originally from Essex in the southeast, but uh, now live near uh, uh, Traction in the, in the middle of England. I uh, moved to Loughborough for a while uh, when I was studying automotive materials engineering at university in Loughborough. Uh, and yeah, no, I'm nearby Traction nowadays. And I want you to tell me what your first racing game experience was when you were growing up. Oh, my friend's mum bought my brother and I, my brother's only two years younger than me, he bought us a, uh, a PlayStation 1 and my brother and I used to absolutely smash Gran Turismo 2. Um, and then from there I kind of moved on to uh, GTR 2 on my mum's laptop and then it's just snowballed ever since. And your current favourite racing game? The current favourite racing game is iRacing, as you can see me playing on right now, which is why I chose this for the video. Tell us a little bit about your sim racing experience, because I know you've done a lot of driving, uh, and yeah, we just want to hear about what you've done in the past. So my sim racing experience, uh, I've raced iRacing for probably nearly 10 years on and off now. I've uh, got a bit of experience on R-Factor 2, Assetto Corsa, original R-Factor. Um, I race quite a lot in the LMP2 now as well with my friends online in IMSA and uh, team races. But uh, yeah, years and years of sim racing experience, not to the highest level, um, but I uh, yeah, very much enjoy it. And that's why I'm excited to be part of Traction going forward. And obviously, I know about this, but the viewers won't. You have done some real world racing as well. So tell us a bit about that. Yes, I've raced a few times in a few various different cars, including a, a Mini Cooper, an MG3, uh, Formula Jedi, but also I competed in the 2020 uh, GB3, what is now GB3 or British Formula 3 Championship, uh, and won one race. What is it you do when you're not behind the wheel? Do you still get involved in motorsport? Yeah, actually, I uh, I commentate or co-commentate and present the GB3 and GB4 championships these days uh, for their MSVR live streams, which you may have seen online on YouTube. Um, very much enjoying that, and hopefully doing some more commentary and presenting alongside my traction work this year and going forward. And what about outside of racing? Any other interests that take to heart? Yeah, I'm I'm always been very sporty. I used to play hockey quite a lot when I was younger. Played cricket. Um, what else do I play? Um, squash, I played squash at university and play squash quite a lot and then enjoy the occasional round of golf as well. Nice, well we'll definitely be getting some golf in. Tell me, what is your favourite car and track combo, both in the sim and in real life? Oh, okay, let's start with the sim, seeing as we're in the sim right now. I actually love Watkins Glen, I don't know what it is about it, I just think it's a great circuit. I love racing around there. The Nordschleife of course is a, is a great challenge too, but I'd say Watkins Glen and my favourite car in iRacing is the Le Mans prototype LMP2, this car that we're driving right now and it often visits Watkins Glen, so uh, I'd say it's probably my favourite in the sim. In real life, um, I, of course I'm lucky enough to have driven a Formula 3 car at Silverstone Grand Prix and I can't say there's anything like it. It's just like, it's so smooth, so fast. And it really feels like flying a plane is the closest thing I could describe. It's so smooth, you don't slow down. It's a really, really um, amazing experience and that was definitely my favorite combination. And of Watkins Glen, do you like the short layout or are you a big fan of the big one? Full, full layout with, the, with or without the, the bus stop, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so definitely the full layout. Do you have any party tricks? Yes, actually, I can ride a bike backwards. I always bring it out whenever there's a bicycle. So um, some of you will be like, what do you mean you can ride a bike backwards? Well, I can sit on the handlebars facing the rear wheel and, uh, and then cycle backwards. Again, taught myself when I was seven, no idea why. That's an insight into seven-year-old Piers' mind, but I uh, can still do it to this day. What's your most embarrassing sim racing moment? Because we've all, we've all had them. <laughs> Oh God, uh, I was once leading a team race in the LMP2 with my mates uh, in, I think it was a six hour endurance or something. And from the lead, I pitted into a spa and clipped the inside wall and rolled us out of the race. So that was not ideal. I'm still uh, get, get jived by my friends for that to this day. How about best sim racing moment? Oh, best sim racing moment. Um, oh yes, I in the same team, I think it was the same year actually, we did the, um, Sebring 12 hour in the Le Mans prototype LMP2 and we came second in split two um, 
we should have been first, and everyone would say that, but we, uh, we finished second only by a few seconds, and I had to pit on the last lap because we got our strategy wrong. But we were three seconds ahead of uh, Scott McLaughlin, the IndyCar racers team. I was, it was right behind me for the whole last stint. I kept him off. We thought we were going to win. Checker flag came out a lap later than we expected, so not ideal. But it was still a great experience, and uh, we very much enjoyed that. Right, some very quick fire questions. What's your daily driver? Daily driver, I have a 1.4 red polo. Dream car? Dream car, Nissan GTR. How often do you get your hair permed? <laughs> it's not permed, it's au naturel, baby. How tall are you? Uh, short enough that we had to bring the seat forward from when you were driving. That's very true. Do you have any racing heroes? Anyone tall, short? Oh. <laughs> uh, my racing hero is Lewis Hamilton, the GOAT, undisputed. Um, but I've always liked Fernando Alonso as well. He was uh, a very determined, uh, very determined racing driver and it's amazing. He can still race at that level at his age. Two more questions. What's your eye rating? Eye rating is currently 4.3. I'm on the way up, but I'm hoping to get to 5. And are you quicker than me? Uh, to be confirmed, but I'd say in the LMP2, yes, but on our Factor 2, probably not. Let's wait and find out. Uh, one big thing then yes. to, to end off. What is it about traction uh, that brought you here? What does traction mean to you and what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, traction is just an amazing community of like-minded people and to have the opportunity to work here as my job on sim racing is something that I'm truly passionate about and absolutely love. I'm so looking forward to and I hope that I can bring some more insight and enjoyment to all of our amazing viewers. Uh, I think that's my lap. Six minutes eight. I'm well happy with that. Um, yeah, I'd just like to say um, thank you very much for the opportunity to be part of this amazing community. I hope you enjoy the videos that we're going to be making together and uh, I'll see you very soon on some videos. So uh, until then, keep it pinned.